I've always wanted to sail the seas. Forever. Sooner than you think. Sign the roster. Thanks very much. Half of it. And I'm your man. I told you. That one penny of that belongs to me. A hundred guineas. That's my price. Fifty. Done. And here's my hand on it. I'll give you thirty guineas to set me on dry shore if I'm an American. I haven't men enough to work this ship. And my navigator, Mr. Soon, has had your sword through his vitals. Fifty. Thirty. If I hadn't lost so much money on this plaguey cruise, I'd see you at the rope's end. All because of one television program. He sat on the extradition warrants for a pedophile priest. Ah, oh, for God's sake, Dick, he didn't know about them. Well, that inspires a lot of confidence. Oh, come on. And do you know everything that goes on in your department? He's launched an investigation and will provide a full explanation to the doll. The Labour Party aren't going to move on this. Dick, we are two months into an IRA ceasefire, the most important thing that has happened in Ireland in 50 years. Are you really going to bring the government down over this? We have to consider our position. Right. He's made his protest. You know, the prince was a good man. He would have made a good king. So, let me be very clear. His murder will not go unpunished. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think the king would do if he knew who it was who murdered his only son? Some apple, boy. It's good for you. No? <laughs> You're very fortunate. You know, in the event of your sudden departure, say, by way of the gallows. The church will take custody of the boy. And I personally will ensure that he is well cared for. You think you're so clever. God be with you. How many died here? That is a question for the prisoner, Father. They found nine in all, and pieces of others. He believes they become immortal in this ground. Are you certain? Remind me. We walked a long way. I counted every step. Take! Let's get this over with. Ah, Jamie, 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 Jamie. You're an awful man, do you know that? I was thinking about killing you. And then I thought to myself, you know, should people get killed every day? Nobody gives a shite. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to have to hurt you a bit. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to hurt you an awful lot. Wait. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. That's her perfume. Why she waved her hand. I leave you this to think of me when I'm far away on the pillow. What is it? Heliotrope? No. Hasten? Mm. Roses, I think. She'd like scent of that kind, sweet and cheap, soon sour. Why, Molly likes up a bonex. Suits her with a little jessamine mixed. Her high notes and her low notes. Excuse me. Hi. Dermot O'Brien might have arranged it to... Dermot feckin' O'Brien! Look, I, I'm not interested in getting married. I'm not interested at all, at all. Tell him I'm gay or something, will you? No, you don't understand. Oh, I've got another feckin' Yankee as well. Who am I, huh? I'm not stuck to feckin' nurses, huh? I don't think I don't.